Hey everyone, welcome back to another interesting lesson in this Tosca automation playlist. Today I'm going to talk about an interesting feature which is available in Tosca. And this is especially when you add a verification step. So you must be using the action mode verify in your test steps and then only you can make use of this particular feature. Now this is something called intervals, okay? And using this interval in action mode verify, we can verify not just any particular value, but we can verify if a value lies within the specific range, which is defined by us. Now think about scenarios where you don't have any particular value or the value keeps on changing, but it is still within a numerical range. So in these type of scenarios, you can make use of something called intervals. Now keep in mind that uh, the data types uh, where it can be applied is only limited to numeric or string. Okay, so your data type should be a numeric or string. Then uh, you can only uh, make comparisons like uh, you can use the equals equals uh, operator or you can use the not equals operator. Now there are basically two types of intervals uh, which are present in Tosca. Uh, one is the simple interval. So here you have an interval with equal upper and lower boundaries. Now the syntax, it looks like this. So you start with curly brace and then you uh, type interval, that is the expression. Inside that, uh, you will then define a base value and then you will define a limit, okay? Now the range uh, in which uh, this verification will be successful is uh, the base minus limit and base plus limit. So if the number which you have provided or the number which you're trying to verify falls within this particular range, then um, this particular verification will be successful. Otherwise it will fail, okay? So this is known as a simple interval. Then there is also a custom interval where you have an interval with unique upper and lower boundaries, okay? So in this, the syntax changes a little bit you have the interval expression, and then you have got the base uh, value, and then you have got the lower boundary and also the upper boundary, okay? So in this, the valid range would lie between the base minus a lower boundary and a base plus upper boundary, okay? So you can test your range within different boundaries, one upper and one lower in case of custom interval. But in case of simple interval, uh, the upper and lower boundaries will be equal. So you will you can only test within that particular uh, limit, okay? So this is how uh, the intervals work in Tosca. Now let's try to understand this with a very simple example, okay? So here I have got the vehicle insurance application. And then when you fill all the uh, vehicle data, insurance data and product data, you reach the screen where it shows you different price options for different plans. And then you need to select a particular price option, right? Now, one scenario where you can use interval in this is the claims discount. Now, depending on what data a user is entering in the vehicle insurance or product data, this claims discount will keep on changing, but it will be within a particular range. Say for example, this is between uh, 2 and 10, right? All of these numbers are between 2 and 10. So the discount ranges uh, between a particular range, right? And then if you're trying to verify some, like something like for this gold option or platinum option, you can verify the range uh, like from 2 to 10 or 5 to 10, right? So even if uh, the claim discount changes, uh, for any particular data. Still, if it falls within that particular range, then the test case should pass, uh, else it should fail, right? So in this way, you are not dependent on a static value, uh, which is being displayed here. You can define a particular range based on the requirements of the application. And then uh, you can decide whether uh, the value which is displayed in the application falls within that particular range and it meets the requirements, and then you can pass or fail the test case, right? So let's see how we can do this. 
So I have already scanned the module select price option. It is just a table with different rows and columns, right? And then we are using this particular test case to verify the discount here. And I am going to now uh, select this test case and pull this module right here. Okay, so as you can see, it is a table and then it has got different rows and columns, right? Now, in order to verify, let's say the claim discount for platinum option, right? So I need to uh, go to this platinum column and then I need to find uh, the value for claim discount, right? So here um, I need to select in the column option, I'm going to select platinum. And then uh, in the cell, okay, I am going to find this particular cell, right? And it will take up this particular value, okay? So instead of cell, I'm going to just type the complete text here, okay? So in the value, it will get uh, the five as the value, okay? And that uh, we can verify as well, okay? So let's see whether it is actually doing that. And uh, I'm going to say B underscore discount, which is the buffer value. Okay, so it will store that discount in the buffer. It is just to make sure that it is actually capturing that particular value, okay? So uh, let's just run this first and then we'll see how we can use the interval here, okay? Okay, so the execution was completed and uh, if I go through the logs, you will see that the B discount has a value five. So it is grabbing the correct value from the table, okay? Now, uh, what I want to do is I don't want to verify this five as the discount value. I want to make it an interval, right? I want to verify it within a range. So for that, uh, let's now again copy this and put this inside another cell. And this time around, I'm going to verify that. So let's uh, prepare the expression. So it will be, as I said, interval. When you type this, you will get uh, the description here, the syntax, uh, and also an example, right? So uh, let's do this interval and then uh, the square bracket, okay? Now uh, we need to look at the calculation. So if you look at the calculation, if you are doing a simple interval, right? So we need to provide the base and then the limit. And then the range should be between base minus limit and base plus limit, okay? So say for example, I give uh, some range like base, I will give a value 10 here. Okay, and then limit I will give five. So what will happen here is um, the value should be in the range of 10 minus five, which is five, and then 10 plus five, which is 15. So the range, the valid range here is five and 15. So any number between five and 15 should be verified successfully, okay? So let's run this test case now again. Okay, so the execution was completed. And now, as you can see, the test result was passed, okay? So this is where it is trying to verify within the interval. Uh, here it has captured it in the buffer. In the log info, you will not find any log here. But if the test case is passed, that means the interval uh, was successfully verified, okay? Similarly, um, if you want to do a custom interval, right? So this was an example of simple interval, right? So if, if you want to do a custom interval, so where uh, we need to provide a base and then we have to provide a lower boundary and then we have to also provide a upper boundary, right? So here again, I'm going to put the base as 10, the lower boundary as five and the upper boundary as five, okay? So it will look like this. Now, here the valid range is um, 10 minus five, right? And then uh, 10 plus five, okay? So if you look at the calculation, so it is base minus lower boundary and base plus upper boundary, okay? 
So it is basically the same calculation, but here you have the option to provide a upper and a lower boundary, okay? Now, if I go ahead and run this for the final time, all the verifications should have passed, right? And uh, the value should be stored in the buffer. Okay, so test case has passed and you can see both verifications has, have also passed, okay? So both the intervals, uh, custom and simple interval have uh, successfully verified. So similarly, you can use uh, this interval uh, to verify any particular numbers which are displayed here or even strings, right? So you can play around with uh, the upper and lower boundary for custom interval or just the limit for the simple interval. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.